What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Equal Espresso and welcome to today's video. Now today we're going to do something tremendously different for you. I'm not expecting it to do as well as my other Call of Duty videos, but if you guys could show some support and prove me wrong, that would be absolutely amazing. What we're going to be talking about today is what happened to Titanfall. Remember that game, the Call of Duty Killer? Having played it recently, it's abandoned. It's hard to even find a match, at least on the PC version, that is. And from my time playing, I've been the only non-generation player. It seems like the only ones left on the game are generation hunters going for that max level. But it seems like Titanfall just vanished. It was ranked number one for four to five straight weeks on Nielsen's Top 10, which is a national survey of analytics and trends, so it had some credibility for it. It had something going in the hype train. It went from first to not even in the Top 10 the week it was dethroned. Along with that, it went from being one of the most viewed games on Twitch to being like 50th and being behind previous Call of Duty titles that have been out for a few years now. It literally just vanished. I'm not trying to say the game is bad, not by any means am I trying to say that. It's still quite a fun game to me. I enjoy it a lot and it's just so colorful and fluent especially on the PC version, but it's to the point that I bought the game and have played it only a handful of times in situations that have kept my attention. This game was so hyped, probably one of the most hyped games in previous years, and there was so much support for the game. So many people honestly believed that it would dethrone Call of Duty. It would be the Call of Duty killer. And then two weeks to a month later after launch, it was just irrelevant, it seemed. I don't even remember hearing about the 360 release. There was that little bit of chatter. And the thing is, you can ask anybody, do you like Titanfall? And they'll say yes. And if you ask them if they're still playing, they'll probably say no. And if you follow up with why, they won't even know why they stopped playing. So where could this have possibly gone wrong? So there are two main points that I really want to hit that I think are actually the Titanfall killers. The first of which is that Titanfall got old really fast. There's a lack of diversity on the game. There are some great maps and they're actually an all right amount of them, so I can't really complain there, but I'm talking more along the lines of weapons and game modes. There are only a few SMGs and only one automatic assault rifle. There's nothing really to unlock in regards of attachments, so that adds to it getting old very quickly. You wouldn't think you'd want more guns. Like me as a Call of Duty player, I use a set group of guns, probably like five total, and don't even ever consider adding a different one into my loadouts, and here I am in Titanfall wanting more and getting bored of the same old weapons. It's one of those things where you've seen it once, you've seen it a million times. As well as the game modes, there aren't that many. Yes, the ones that are there are tremendously fun, but there isn't much diversity there at all. Again, you've played it once and you've played them all really. In terms of Titans, there isn't much to choose from again. So I think that may be one of the biggest factors in this game dying off so quickly. There just wasn't anything to hold the interest. I've seen a little bit of rejuvenated interest in the community because of the DLC, but not that much. Now, I think probably the single most important reason why Titanfall didn't live up to X expectations was the fact that it was an Xbox slash PC exclusive. I've never been the biggest fan of PlayStation, but I can't deny how much of a fan base they have. The idea of only keeping this to two of the three biggest systems out there, it's a bit crazy. And if you look at it in terms of numbers, Xbox One has by far been pushed out of the limelight by PS4. Sales just didn't do as well as Microsoft hoped. So there's that large portion of players right there out the window that don't even have the chance to like the game. So from what numbers indicate, Apparently the 360 version did actually very well in terms of sales, but what I don't get is, is why it seems like the numbers and interest in the game overall is still dwindling. Respawn insists that the game is doing well, that the player count is always up and running, and they don't seem worried at all. I just don't get how we can go from such a hyped game to one that is almost completely dead. The Call of Duty killer it was supposed to be. It just seems like it didn't live up to any of those expectations. Maybe I'm just not getting the picture. Maybe I'm just losing my interest that I had for it while I was on the hype train for it. I don't really know. Like I said, I really do enjoy Titanfall. I'm a casual PC player, but the game was actually fun to me. Like I said during beta, it was the first first-person shooter game that I had genuine fun with. I'm one of those extremely competitive people, the overly competitive, and get really upset if I do poorly or think that I did poorly compared to what I could do, but Titanfall was the game that I had a ton of fun with. Genuine fun. Being that my channel was Call of Duty oriented, you didn't really get to see much of my interest in the game, but it was extremely fun for me to play and watch. Watch. So it may not be the Call of Duty killer, but for my sake as an interested player and gaming fan, I do hope to see some revitalization into the game. So that's it my time, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. Are you guys glad Titanfall is dead? Do you want to see it come back or do you not even care at all? Always love hearing your thoughts, so be sure to leave them down below. If you did like the video, please leave a like ring down below. Any shares to your Facebook, Twitter, and or MySpace for your OG like that. Always greatly appreciated. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe to stay connected. As always, hope you guys are having a great day. I shall see you guys tomorrow. Take care and peace.